I was forced to marry a stranger, the night Riften Callips. I had no idea what to expect from this man I didn't know. Our first night together was confusing and terrifying. We must fulfill our marital duties. The following morning, he left to lead a dragon campaign. Three long years later, Riften returned as a legendary hero. My father struck me and reproached me because I stuttered. No man, especially a hero, would want a stuttering wife. And there were rumors the king wanted his daughter, the royal princess, to marry my husband instead. My father threatened me to make my marriage work, or else. If I failed and we divorced, he swore he would kill me. When Riften walked into the room, I was frightened. He seemed cold and angry, but then he kissed me and took me away with him to his land, Anatole. On the journey, he was kind and tender to me. He assured me that there was nothing between him and the royal princess. I turned down that proposal a long time ago. I thought the king had finally lost his mind when he made such an offer to a married man. When we finally reached Anatole, I was amazed at how different my world became. Riften wanted me to remodel the castle and make it into a home for both of us. Do whatever you want with the place. This is your home now. I was in charge as the lady of the house, and Riften worked hard to win my heart. He showered me with jewels, fine clothes, and affection. The bath's ready. Come, let's get in together. Why together? Maxie, that's what married couples do. For the first time in my life, I felt loved. But because he thought I was a precious noble lady, I had to keep hiding my past from him. If he knew that I had been beaten by my father for being a useless stutterer all my life, he'd treat me differently. Despite my insecurity, our closeness grew, both emotionally and physically. Are you alright? It seemed like it hurt the last time we- I I'm fine. It'd be nice if you'd say that in bed as well. But sadly, our honeymoon bubble was broken when Riften had to leave. And while he was gone, I made an unlikely friend, Ruth, the mysterious mage. Ruth was an annoying, demanding, wise guy, but he helped me manage the castle. He helped me try to revive a large dead oak tree near the castle, an important symbol for the people of Anatol. But when he did so, something happened. Magic sparked into me, and to my shock and disbelief, he said, That's unexpected. It seems you have some mana affinity, my lady. Uh, does that mean I could become a s sorceress too? But suddenly an enemy attacked the castle to take advantage of Riften's absence. I tried to be brave and send him away, but he mocked my stutter and destroyed the gate. Just in time, Riften returned to defeat the coward, but he was furious with me for being there at all. What were you thinking? I, I heard that there was a p problem. And what the hell could you have done? I was ashamed. He's not wrong. I'm useless after all. He took me back to the castle in a haze of anger and I was scared he would beat me just like father. But instead, he told me, You should never ever put yourself in danger. I realized he wasn't angry because I overstepped. He was just worried about me. He even claimed he would punish the enemies who had hurt me. A head for every scratch. Then he stripped my clothing to check for injuries and his worries turned into passion. Now that Riften was home, we were able to grow closer. He asked me something no one had asked before, about my thoughts my likes and dislikes. I asked him what he hated. Liars and incompetence. My blood ran cold. I was an incompetent, useless stutterer lying to him about being a true noble lady. When he asked about me, I could not help but admit to him, the thing I hate the most is myself. He held me close under a big oak tree, and his response made my heart beat faster. Trust me, I will never hurt you. My life was completely transformed by his love, but little did I know everything was about to get more complicated and more dangerous.